Okay, here's a quick video on the uh, awesomeness of the 32-bit workflow. Um, so this is a um, EXR um, from Max, saved out using the V-Ray frame buffer um, instead of the normal EXR out of uh, of Max, which gave me uh, problems with the uh, edges and things like that. So. Uh, this was saved out with uh, EXR from uh, V-Ray. Okay, then in, here in uh, After Effects CS3, what I've done is set this up to be 32-bit, and I downloaded this linear RGB uh, working space from ProLost blog, and then I just left these all, I think, the same as they were. Um, the cool part is, is then um, over here on this level, I added these uh, effects on there the uh, color profile converter and then you only uh, switch the uh, input to sRGB and then leave everything else the same and basically you're just pushing it into the working space which is the linear sRGB then um, basically I get an exposure which is just like essentially like a raw camera file and you can I've dialed in my exposure here which which pumped it up a little bit like if I turn it off you'll see it pops down gets muddy oops come on oh wait quick gets muddy boom and then here I've just done curved which supports 32 bit um, and um, down here I was working with color balance but that's basically it I mean I'm getting perfect composites um, they're saying that the add use the add mode more than you use the screen mode to, to add layers together and it Works like a champ.